You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Super 7 has released a multitude of Power Ranger products over the years. There are a lot of Super 7 products that I have and many more that I want. The Ultimates Red Ranger, yes. The Ultimates Yellow Ranger, yes. The Ultimates Blue Ranger, yes. The Ultimates Pink Ranger, yes. The Ultimates Black Ranger, yes. The Ultimates Green Ranger, yes. The Ultimates Green Ranger Radiant Glow Variant, no. The Ultimates White Ranger, yes. The Ultimates Dino Megazord, yes. The Ultimates Dino Megazord Black and Gold Variant, no. The Dino Megazord's Black and Gold Variant has been around since the beginning and has become the go-to variant for the Dino Megazord. I think the design looks good, but I don't like it enough to add this variant to my collection. The Ultimates Dragon Zord, yes. The Ultimates Dragon Zord Black and Gold Variant, no. Just like the Dino Megazord, the Dragon Zord's Black and Gold Variant looks good, but I don't like it enough to add it to my collection. Collection. The Ultimates Tyrannosaurus Dinozord, yes. The Ultimates White Tiger Zord, yes. It's unfortunate that this figure had to be canceled due to low pre-orders. I would have loved to own it. The Ultimates Rita Repulsa, no. Villain figures are just as important as hero figures. I just happen to favor the heroes more. The Ultimates Rita Repulsa, Vile Violet variant, no. This variant is based on early Rita figures that gave her a purple color scheme instead of a brown one. Even though this variant is justified, I would have liked the resources and materials to go to another figure like the White Tiger Zord. The Ultimates Lord Zed, no. The Ultimates Lord Zed Imperial Gold Glow variant, no. To my knowledge, Lord Zed has no connection to glowing in the dark or turning green, so in my opinion, this was not the best use of resources and materials. The Ultimates Lord Zed's throne, no, I actually like this figure, except that it costs $45. If I were to get the Lord Zed figure, I would definitely get his throne as well. The Ultimates Goldar, no. The Ultimates Finster, no. I wonder why they made a figure of Finster, but not of Squat and Babu, unless the sales of Finster was used to determine if Squat and Babu got releases as well. The Ultimates Putty Patroller, maybe. I'm torn over this figure because I like it enough to put on a wish list, but not enough to pay full price for. If I came across it in person for half off, I'd probably buy it immediately. The Ultimates King Sphinx, no. The Ultimates Madam Woe, yes, I don't know if it's the blue and white color scheme, but for some reason, I would buy the Madam Woe figure. Unfortunately, she was also canceled along with the White Tiger Zord due to low pre-orders. I would have preferred her over the other villains. The Ultimates Bulk, no. I like that this figure was made. I just would have liked to get civilian figures of the Rangers as well. The Ultimate Skull, no. Just like Bulk, I like that Skull gets a figure. I just wasn't a fan of Bulk and Skull enough to want figures of them. The Ultimate's Lord Draken, no. I understand that he's a fan favorite from the comics. I'm just not into this character as much as others are. The Deluxe Red Ranger, yes. The Deluxe Yellow Ranger, yes. The Deluxe Blue Ranger, yes. The Deluxe Pink Ranger, yes. The Deluxe Black Ranger, yes. The Deluxe Green Ranger, yes. The Deluxe White Ranger, yes. These Deluxe figures are just Ultimates figures without all the accessories, but I'm still a sucker for the classic Triangle Box packaging. These figures will also complement the SDCC variant reaction figures. The Reaction Red Ranger SDCC variant, yes. The Reaction Yellow Ranger SDCC variant, yes. The Reaction Blue Ranger SDCC variant, yes. The Reaction Pink Ranger SDCC variant, yes. The Reaction Black Ranger SDCC variant, yes. Again, still a sucker for the classic triangle box packaging. The Reaction Red Ranger, yes. The Reaction Red Ranger Battle Damage variant, no. The Battle Damage variant is one of the go-to variants, and I would have gotten this figure if they did each ranger in this variant, but they only did red and green. The Reaction Yellow Ranger? Yes. The Reaction Blue Ranger? Yes. The Reaction Pink Ranger? Yes. The Reaction Black Ranger? Yes. The Reaction Black Ranger Dragon Shield Variant? Yes. I'm surprised they gave us a Dragon Shield Black, but not red. The Reaction Green Ranger? Yes. The Reaction Green Ranger Battle Damaged Variant? No. Again, I would have gotten this figure if they did each ranger in this variant. Maybe red and green were used to determine if the other rangers got this variant as well. The Reaction White Ranger, yes. The Reaction Dino Megazord, yes. The Reaction Dino Megazord Black and Gold variant, no. I like the look but not enough to buy. The Reaction Dino Megazord Halloween variant, no. 
This figure was put out to celebrate the Halloween season, but in my opinion, this was not the best use of resources and materials. The Reaction Dragon Zord, yes. The Reaction Dragon Zord Black and Gold Variant, no. The Reaction Dragon Zord Battle Mode, yes. The Reaction White Tiger Zord, yes. The Reaction Alpha 5, no. The Reaction Rita Repulsa, no. The Reaction Lord Zed, no. The Reaction Goldar, no. The Reaction Scorpina, no. A Scorpina Ultimates figure would have complemented Goldar's figure very well. The Reaction Rita Repulso, no. The Reaction Squat, no. The Reaction Babu, no. The Reaction Putty Patrol, maybe. The Reaction Z Putty Patroller, maybe. The Reaction Pudgy Pig, no. We got King Sphinx as an Ultimates figure and Pudgy Pig as a Reaction figure. There's a bit of inconsistency with the figure selection. The Super Cyborg Dino Megazord, yes. The Super Cyborg Dino Megazord clear variant, no. In my opinion, this was not the best use of resources and materials. The Super Cyborg Dino Megazord red clear variant, no. In my opinion, this was not the best use of resources and materials times two. The Super Cyborg Dino Megazord black and gold variant, no, this variant does make more sense to make. The Super Cyborg Dragon Zord, yes. The Super Cyborg Dragon Zord clear variant, no. The Dino Megazord enamel pin, yes. The Dragon Zord enamel pin, yes. The Tyrannosaurus Dinozord enamel pin, yes. Why stop at the Tyrannosaurus? They should do the rest of the Zords and the Rangers too. The Red Ranger shirt, maybe. I prefer the back to be blank and to keep the small Tyrannosaurus Zord the way it is on the front. The pink and yellow Ranger shirt, no. I feel like it's a generic graphic slapped onto a shirt. The Green Ranger helmet shirt, no. I feel like the image would look better on the back with the same image on the front but smaller and in the top left corner of the shirt, the White Ranger helmet shirt, no. Just like the Green Ranger shirt, I feel like the image would look better on the back with the same image on the front but smaller and in the top left corner of the shirt, the Dino Megazord shirt maybe. I like the color of the shirt and would prefer the Megazord image to be larger. The Dino Megazord pixel shirt maybe, I prefer the Megazord image to be larger. The Dragon Zord shirt, no. I'd like some artwork to cover the bottom half of the shirt. The Goldar shirt, no. I feel like the image would look better if smaller and in the top left corner of the shirt. The villain shirt, yes. The color scheme and the placement of the images were very good, I like this. The Red Ranger puzzle, no. I would have preferred the Black Ranger puzzle. The Green Ranger puzzle, no. I feel like each Ranger should have gotten a puzzle. The Rangers grouped puzzle, no. I wouldn't mind a Dino Megazord puzzle. Based on the almost 90 MMPR products, Super 7 has shown that it's invested in the franchise and have more products coming in the future. Super 7 has even released figures for less popular characters in an attempt to reach all corners of the fan base. Some of the variants Super 7 has created has left me questioning the reasoning behind them. One theory is that the variants are a way for Super 7 to test if they can generate more sales while reusing the same figures. If true, I believe the resources and materials spent on the variants could have been used to create other figures like the White Tiger Zord. Super 7 tries as much as they can to give the fans what they want, but at the same time, they have a business to run. When they take risks producing figures for less popular characters and those figures don't sell, then they have to reevaluate their next steps, which may include canceling the release of previously planned figures. Super 7 can only do as much as the fans let them. The more financial support the fans give a company, the more products the company can give to the fans. As long as the relationship between Super 7 and MMPR fans stays mutually beneficial, each party will be satisfied. I appreciate Super 7 for taking an interest in MMPR and for producing so many products to support the franchise. Even if there may have been some missteps along the way, they still try to go above and beyond to cater to the fans. I don't know all the ins and outs of their business strategies when it comes to MMPR, but I'd like for them to be more consistent with products and variants across the entire Ranger team and to release more Mega Zords, starting with the White Tiger Zord. Thank you for watching another episode of Tales from the Grid, and until next time, have a good one.